Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. So today we're going to be doing another full face of drugstore makeup and I told you guys that I have quite a few to upload because I have a ton of new products from the drugstore that I want to share with you guys. I just couldn't fit them all in my last drugstore tutorial. So this is pretty much part two and I think I have another one coming up because I still have a ton of new products to share with you guys and I want you guys to see them in action and kind of get my first impression, review on those products and all of that good stuff. So today is part two and I have a lot of goodies to share with you guys and I cannot wait to share these products with you guys so I'm not gonna spend too much time on this intro so if you guys are interested in seeing how I created this whole look using all new drugstore products then let's go ahead and jump right in all right y'all so the first thing I want to do is moisturize the face you guys know I like to moisturize before I apply anything on the face and the one I'm using is by elf cosmetics this is their new hello hydration face cream I've actually been using this for the past two weeks I believe and I really have been enjoying it it does wear really nicely under my makeup which is what I like I also like to wear it at night time too but mostly under my makeup because it's a really 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 lightweight um, moisturizer and it's perfect to apply on the skin before you like apply um, foundation or primers so I'm gonna quickly apply this. Okay, so the primer we're using is also by Elf Cosmetics. They've come out with a lot of new products. So I wanted to try this out. It's their Matte Oil Control Primer. I do have um, combination skin, so a super duper duper oily T-zone and the rest of my face I would consider pretty normal. It's not dry, it's not oily. It's just this area. I get really oily throughout the day if I'm not going to prime with a mattifying primer. So I want to try this out, um, you know, just to see how it is. I will be using this primer. Um, ooh, came out pretty crazy. This looks just like the um, Smashbox primer. It looks like silicone. You know, you know how it has that silicone, that clear. Ooh, smells strong. It just has that clear silicone -y look and texture, but it is mattifying, I guess. It just smells so strong. It smells like chemically. I don't know, I'm scared. I don't know if I'm gonna do a full day wear test with any of these products. If not, I will let you guys know um, in later videos how these products work, but I mean, I guess it's good so far, but I want to go ahead and play with this foundation stick, you guys. Wet n Wild. This is one of the ones that I put on the poll. I asked you guys which ones you wanted me to do in a recent, like a upcoming drugstore tutorial. And most of you voted for the one by Black Radiance, which I've already done. If you guys want to see that video, if you missed the video, I will have it linked down below. But I am really rooting for this one, you guys. And I have high hopes for this shade because Ellery uses this shade. I don't know if you guys watch Ellery, but she did like a tutorial on Instagram and she used the shade Almond. They did send me a PR package with more of these shades, but I wanted to try the one that I felt like would match me instead of just swatching all of them because I know I don't really like to waste product doing that I prefer to you know donate it or give it to somebody I know or just put it in a giveaway but um, yeah let's try this one very 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 interested to see how ooh I can tell you now this one goes on so much more smoother than the black radiance like it feels very very smooth when I swatch it on my skin and I feel like this color is gonna be perfect All right, that's all I'm gonna put. I feel like I went a little overboard, but I really wanna make sure that, you know, it covers everything since I didn't spot conceal or anything like that. Girl, let me tell you about these sponges. Well, this sponge that I found in Walgreens the other day, I did tweet about it, but Sonia Kashik or not. Nah. But yeah, this was a um, new product. It said new on the little packaging and I saw it in Walgreens and I was very, very, very curious to see how this sponge compares to the Sonia Kashik. So you guys know I use the Sonia Kashik in pretty much all of my makeup tutorials and I always have people ask me what sponge I'm using and that is Sonia Kashik. You can get this from Target. If you buy one, it's $7, but if you get a pack of two, it's $10 and I always get the pack of two. It's my favorite sponge and I just 
don't see myself using any other ones now that I have found the perfect, perfect, perfect sponge. But I wanna try this one out in today's video and to see, you know, if it's just as good as a Sonia Kashuk. I can tell you now the shape is different. It does have that flat surface, well, that flat part right here. And then the rest of the sponge is pretty round. I'll do a close up so you guys can see it better. So you can, so you can see how it's kind of flat right here in the front. And then when I put it to the side, you can see that it's flat right there. But everywhere else is pretty round. So it's not flat at the bottom like the Sonia Kashuk one is. So this is where I apply my foundation. Like this side is where I blend out my foundation. And of course this side is where I blend out my concealer. But I guess I'm gonna use this side on the Walgreens sponge for the foundation and then the flat side to, um, to blend out my concealer. By the way, the sponge is $6.99 in Walgreens. So one cent less than a single Sonia Kashuk sponge. But as far as how it feels, it's pretty soft. I can definitely say that. And both of these are actually already damp for those of you who are wondering, but it's pretty soft. It's really bouncy. But let's talk about this foundation. This looks good. I like how it's blending out compared to the Black Radiance one. That one was definitely a no-go. I did not like how it looked on my skin. I didn't like how it blended out on my skin and I did not like just how it felt, but this one is literally the perfect, perfect color and is blending out really good. I'm not having any trouble with blending this out and the coverage is pretty nice. I'm actually gonna go in with one more layer because I want more coverage, but so far it's, it looks pretty freaking good. I didn't really blend any in this area of my eye. Whoa, I just realized I did not do my brows. I don't know what I was thinking. Let's go ahead and do my brows before we get any further because I hate doing my brows last. So brows, I'm gonna use a new product which is by Wet n Wild. It's called their Micro Brow Pencil and I got the shade um, Dark brown, I believe. Where is the color? It's not even on here. I'm pretty sure it's on the actual little box that it came in, but I will find that and have it down below in the description. Um, but I wanna say this is the darker shade, but it's very, very tiny, um, very similar. I always compare brow pencils to the Anastasia Brow, what is it, the Brow Wiz and the one by CoverGirl because lately the ones that I've been using are just as tiny as the brow is. So super, super tiny. I'll do a close up so you guys can see it better. But yeah, that's what it looks like. And it does have like a little um, spoolie at the other end. Honestly can't believe I forgot to go in with my brows. I guess I was just so excited about the, um, the foundation stick. I just completely forgot about my brows. All right, so the color is definitely the right shade is not too dark and it's not too red. It's actually the perfect shade for my brows. All right, now that I've done both of them, I can really see the color more and it is a little bit on the gray side, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and clean up brows because every time I do that, I feel like it looks so much better, but I'm gonna use a concealer to clean my brows, which I always do. And I wanna try out this new um, cream palette by CoverGirl. This is from the Full Spectrum line. It's called their Contour and Correct Expert Versatile Cream Palette. So you have a good, good, good shade range here. You have a really dark shade right here that you can use as a contour shade, but you guys know I don't really use contour um, well, cream contours. I'm actually just gonna use this palette for concealer and um, you know, just to clean up the brows. Um, but I really like the shade selection here. Like this is, I can do a lot with this. Like I have a shade in here. It looks like this will be like my skin tone and I can actually use that shade to spot conceal if I wanted to. Um, but for my brows, I think I'm gonna go into um, this shade right here at the bottom. So let's see how this works. Oh yeah, that's a good shade. It's not too light. It's actually a really good shade. 
All right, so I went ahead and finished up the concealer, just kind of cleaned them up and then I blended it out um, using that sponge from Walgreens. Now let's go ahead and go back in with another layer of the foundation stick because we just forgot about it. Oh yeah, that second layer definitely amped it up a little bit. All right, so this is the second layer and it looks freaking good. I am liking this foundation stick so far. I'm very curious to see how it holds up on the skin, but like I said, I don't know if this is gonna be a full day wear test because it's kind of late during the day, but um, I don't know. I'll definitely let you guys know how it holds up if this is not gonna turn into a full day, like a full few hour wear test. But so far this is looking really good on the skin. Even after me going over it with another layer, it does not feel heavy on the skin. It feels very lightweight. I like the finish that it gives me. Um, and you can see that it is definitely a, a, a buildable foundation. So, so far, so good. All right, so this next product is a concealer and it's from a brand from the drugstore that I did not know would extend shades in a concealer until I saw it in Walmart. And that is by Rimmel London. You guys know they don't have like a good shade range when it comes down to foundations um, for dark skin. So they have a really good shade selection in this concealer. This is not even the next to the darkest or the second or third to the darkest. I believe I got the one that was in the middle and it was like five or six darker shades that was after this one. This is in the shade Golden Amber. I was really, really, really shocked when I saw this on the shelf. Like they had a full line of these concealers and I was like, so this is called their Stay Matte Concealer. I use their Stay Matte Powder, the Press Powder, which is um, the translucent one. And I also use their Loose Stay Matte Powder as well as their Stay Matte Primer. So I'm very interested to try out this concealer. I hope, 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 hope it's good. But this is, okay, that's a good color. Yeah, definitely not too light, but that is Golden Amber right there. So let's see how this is gonna work. It doesn't say that it's like a full, well it does, it does say a full coverage. So this is supposed to be full coverage concealer. So let's see if this is going to give me that full coverage. I've never been a fan of these type of um, doe foot applicators though. It's very small, kind of like the one by NARS, um, the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, but you actually get more product on here than you do the NARS. You know, the one by NARS, you don't get a lot of product. You have to keep dipping it in there, but so far it actually goes on really sheer. So it doesn't really go on like a full coverage concealer. So I'm gonna go over it with another layer on this side but it does look pretty like sheer coverage, but the color is actually really good. It's not too light, it's not too dark, it's not too orange. I'm actually gonna let the concealer sit a little bit because I've learned that if you let your concealer sit a few minutes, you'll get that coverage that you want. Now I'm gonna take the sponge from Walgreens, the flat side, and blend out that concealer. Okay, this is definitely not a full coverage concealer. It literally just sunk into the skin. Like, I don't see it. Like, it looks like it's just going, like blending in with the foundation. Yeah, it definitely blended in with my foundation. Like, I see it a little bit, but I think I'm gonna go over it again one more time. Actually, I'm not gonna go over it again with more concealer because I don't want it to be too cakey. But anyway, let's play with some new setting powder. I finally got my hands on a new drugstore powder, which is by Wet n Wild. This is the banana one. They have two other shades. They have a deep, which I, you guys know, I really don't like using deep powders. Um, I prefer banana or translucent. And they also have one that's, um, it's a lighter shade, I guess, for more fair skin tones. But I decided to go with banana because you can never go wrong with a banana powder and it doesn't even look that yellow. So let's open it up to see how it looks. So it's very deep on the inside, very deep. Is there even, wait, where is the sticker for this? 
All right, I finally got it open. This is what the powder looks like. I went ahead and shook it up so I can get more of that product at the top. But this is what banana looks like. And I'm going in with that same sponge that we've been using, the one from Walgreens. And taking a little bit of that and setting the under eye. So far, it seems like this powder is pretty matte because it's looking really, really matte on my skin. Like really matte. But I'm gonna go ahead and set the other parts of my face. I'm gonna dust on a very, very, very small amount of this CoverGirl Full Spectrum um, Matte Powder. This is in the shade uh, Deep Cool Number no. Two. This is the one that I use in my recent Full Face of Drugstore makeup. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this and just kind of dust it around where I did not apply the other setting powder just so everything can be set. And since my face is done, you guys know what's next. I like to always go in right here, this part of the brows, and just kind of blend them in with the spoolie. So now we're gonna take the new bronzing palette by Black Radiance. This is just a new shade. They came out with a deeper palette and I like to take the middle shade and use it as my bronzer. I'm gonna go ahead and hold up medium dark. This one is called Dark Deep and medium dark. I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it just to see the differences. Um, so this one is medium dark and then this one is dark deep. So dark deep, the middle shade is perfect for a bronzer. And this one, um, the shade that I used to use as a bronzer was the last shade in medium dark. It's just that this one is more on the cool gray side. This one is actually a little bit more warmer um, from this palette than it is this one. And this shade I really never used because it was too light to use, but this one I would use as my bronzer. But since I have one that looks better, I'm gonna start using this one, this shade right here as my bronzer. I always feel like bronzer just makes everything look so much better, like, it just looks better. Okay, so Rimmel has another new product and that is a blush. This is their Maxi Blush and this one is in the shade um, 005. This is what it looks like. This is beautiful, you guys. Like this color is gonna look so freaking gorgeous on deeper skin tones. This is gorgeous. It has a little, like you can barely see it though. It does have um, some, like a shimmer in it, but you can barely, barely see it. I'm actually gonna go ahead and swatch it. Ooh, this feels so freaking creamy. It is a powder blush, but it feels really, really creamy. Oh my gosh. Look how freaking pretty that is super pigmented. I feel like I can just tap my brush in here and a lot of product is gonna come off on the brush. So that's what I'm gonna do. This is a clean brush. This is my um, tapered highlighting brush from my brush set, which by the way, um, I'm pretty sure this video is gonna go up before the sale ends, but we are doing a 60% off promotion on my brushes right now for Valentine's Day. So I will have the link down below if you guys have not checked out my brush set. So you have a tapered highlighting brush, you have a powder brush, um, a couple of eye brushes and a contour brush. So if you guys haven't checked out that set, I will have a link down below. I did collab with a black owned makeup business to create a six piece brush set for you guys. So I will have it linked down below, but I'm just gonna tap the brush in there a little bit and you do get a lot of product. This is gonna be a super duper pigmented blush. So let's see what it looks like on the cheeks. Usually I go in with blush after my eyes. I don't know why I went ahead and put on blush, but I guess I'm just so excited to try out these new products. But this is a pretty color. A little bit of this definitely goes a long way. I don't have any new eyeshadow palettes from the drugstore, so I'm just gonna go ahead and dip into my Morphe palette. This is the Artistry palette from Ulta, and I'm just gonna dip into a couple of shades out of here. This is what it looks like. Um, just something very simple and quick because I don't want this to be 
you know, too focused on the eye look today, just mostly all of the complexion products. But let me just find a brush. So first I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. It's called Makeout. This one right here at the top. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease. Then I'm gonna go into this really, really, really dark purple right here at the end. I'm gonna take that same brush that I was using. This is the Sigma E40. And just, I guess, just put this in the crease too. Just kinda a little bit lower in the crease right here. And I'm gonna take this large blending brush. This is by Farah. I got this out of an Ipsy bag and I'm just gonna go into this second shade right here. It's like an orange color. And kind of put this in the crease as well, right here, kind of above the dark shade and touching that very first shade that we used. Just kind of blend those together and work it up towards the brow bone. We're just blending everything, you know, just messily applying it on the eyes and just blending. Blending is key, you guys, like blend. If you haven't blend, then the eye look is not done. Now I'm gonna take that dark chocolate shade right here. This is just gonna pretty much look black or gray on my eyes, I'm pretty sure, cause I'm not using any primer or anything, but I'm just gonna take that Sigma E40 brush and just tap this all over the lid. Just to give me a nice smoky eye. Taking that big fluffy blending brush again, and I'm going to dip into that shade, that second shade again, this orange color. It's like a brick, orangey looking color, I don't know. And doing the same thing, just kind of blending that dark shade into the crease and kind of taking everything up towards the brow bone. And I'm gonna take the E40 brush, which is, um, which is the one that we use for the dark shades and dipping into that purple again right here on the end and going into the crease again and lightly blending that up in the crease to smoke out the crease a little bit more and back with that same large blending brush going back into that orange shade kind of dipping into the red both of these shades and taking that back into the crease, blending those together, blending everything together in the crease and kind of dragging it up towards the brow bone. All right, that is all that I'm doing with the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and throw on some lashes. These are by Ardell. These are the um, Remy lashes in the style 778. I'm just reusing these because I can reuse them over and over and they still look pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these on, put on some mascara, a little bit of eyeliner on my bottom lash line, kind of smoke that out and I'll be right back. All right, so the lashes are on. I went ahead and smoked out the bottom lash line using that dark purple and I also kind of blended in this um, first shade that we use for the crease just to kind of go about like at the bottom of the dark purple and I just focused it a little bit at the bottom of the purple I had some of you ask me why I never show you guys me blending my bottom lash line and it's because I have really 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 watery eyes and it takes time for me to actually blend down there as well as put on eyeliner so every time I do it I have to just stop doing it just so my eyes won't water too much and keep going so it takes forever for me to do that part of my eye so that's why I always kind of cut it out but the products that I use at the bottom was like I said that purple and then this one right here just to smudge it out with a pencil shader brush so I'm gonna go into this um, red right here it's kind of like a um, I don't know what this how to describe the color but it's like an orange slash red color it's not like a true red and it's not like a true orange, but I am really getting into applying like bright neon matte colors in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna take it, so I'm just gonna put it right here on the inner corner. That may be too dark. Yeah, that's too dark. Uh, let me do the other side just so they can both look even. I thought it was gonna be lighter, but I guess it's too dark. I probably should have put on Maybe like a primer right there. Ooh, that is too dark, but that looks pretty cool. It looks pretty cool. I don't like that. It's starting to look like my eye is bleeding. I don't think I like this. Maybe for like Halloween or something, but whatever side you make the mistake on, make sure you do the same mistake on the other side so that way it can look the same. But yeah, that looks crazy. Let me go ahead and brighten it up. 
Um, I'm gonna stay in that same palette. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dip into this light shade right here. This is kind of like a light um, color. It's not shimmery or anything, but I'm just gonna lighten up that part of the eye. All right, so I went in a little bit with that um, highlight from the Black Radiance palette and just packed on a little bit of that for my inner corner. It looks better. So as I was scrolling through Walmart, I saw Milani came out with this new bronzer, but I felt like this would actually look better on me as a highlighter because it's very gold and bronzy. Let me try to open it. All right, so this is what it looks like. I've already swatched it, played with it, but I have not applied it on my face. But look how huge this thing is. This is the same size as the um, the eyeshadow palettes by Milani, but, and actually the packaging is the same too. This is called their Intense Bronze Glow Face and Body Powder Bronzer. So we're gonna be using this as my highlighter for today because it looks like it'll be perfect for a highlighter. Let me show you guys what it looks like swatched. And this one is in the shade Sunkissed Bronze number one. Let me show you guys, look at that. Gorgeous, huh? Isn't that pretty? So yeah, this is definitely about to be our highlighter for today. I'm gonna use my Milani highlighting brush. You can get this from Walmart as well. Let's see what this looks like on the face. I'm excited. That is so pretty. I don't think y'all see what I'm seeing. Like, look at that glow. Look at that. Like, it looks wet. It looks so good. Okay, this, this is good. I like this. And last but not least, the lips. And I picked up two new lipsticks by Milani. These are their new bold matte lipsticks. I have the shade 01 I Am Fabulous and then 05 I Am Pretty. I'm gonna swatch both of them so y'all can see them both. So this one is I Am Fabulous. Ooh. And I think I'm gonna use this one, which is I Am Pretty. This is a nude color. I'm gonna swatch it right here because we still have a little bit of that highlighter on my hand. I don't know, should I use the pink? I might just use the pink because I feel like this nude color is very similar to the one that I used in my last video. It's pretty light, but it's gonna look really pretty paired with a brown lip liner. Yeah, I'm gonna use the pink instead. I don't know if it'll go with the eyes, but let's do the pink first to see, just so you guys can see how it looks. I'm gonna apply both of them on the lips and I think I'm just gonna settle with the nude because um, I don't know, nude just goes with everything, but I want you guys to see how this pink looks. So let's apply that first. Ooh, these feel, they feel really creamy, but they're matte. All right, so this is I Am Fabulous. I love this pink. This is the perfect, like, toned down pink to where you can actually wear it as an everyday color. It's not too dark, it's not too light. And the formula of this lipstick is super duper creamy, but it's pretty matte on the lips, but at the same time, it feels comfortable. It doesn't feel dried out. Like, it feels really, really comfortable. So this, I like this color. I really, really like this color. Um, Let's try out the other one just to see how it looks with this eye, but it kind of looks, it looks okay. It looks okay. I like the pink. It's actually going to be perfect for the spring, the summertime, just that pop of color on the lips with like a very soft nude eye or just no eyeshadow at all. This is going to be really, really pretty for the spring and summer, but let me go ahead and apply, um, it's called I Am Pretty and see what this one looks like. I may need to use a lip liner with this color. All right, so this is what I Am Pretty looks like without a lip li without a lip liner. It's like a true nude color. I'm gonna throw on a little bit of a brown lip liner. I'm gonna use the one by LA Girl. This is in the shade Espresso. I prefer a nude lip when I do a dark smoky eye. 
because it doesn't really take away from the whole look. Like a nude lip goes perfect with a smoky eye. All right, so I think I like the nude better. I like the pink, but I like the nude paired with the eye look. So yeah, we're gonna keep this color on the lips. All right, so this is the final look once everything has come together. I like how this look came out. I really love a smoky eye with the nude lip. And by now, I'm pretty sure you guys can tell this video did not end up being a full day wear test video. So let's go ahead and talk about some of these products really quick so you guys can kind of get a quick rundown on the products that I use, starting out with the moisturizer. This one is the Hello Hydration Moisturizer by Elf Cosmetics. I told you guys earlier that I've actually been using this for the past two weeks and I've really been enjoying this moisturizer. Super duper lightweight, wears perfectly under the makeup, which is what I usually wear it for. Um, and sometimes I wear it at nighttime, but I really like to wear this under my makeup because it's super duper lightweight and is very hydrating. So this is definitely one that I have been enjoying. Now I can't say much about the primer yet because I haven't really worn this face all day and I can't really give you guys my final review on this, but this will actually be in my everyday makeup stash for this month, which by the way, that video will be up this week. I know we're kind of behind on that video but I want to show you guys the products that I've been using this month so far as well as what I'm gonna be using for the entire month of February but this one will go into my everyday makeup stash that way you guys can kind of get my full thoughts on this primer but so far I do like it I like how it did kind of mattify my t-zone um, but I can't really speak too much about it because I don't know if you know this area is gonna stay matte all day but so far I am liking this only thing I'm not liking about it though is the smell it smells really strong and like uh, chemically I don't know if you guys have tried this out let me know if yours smell really strong but this one has a really really strong smell which I don't like but um, I'm gonna see how it you know works on the skin throughout this month but this is definitely one that I will let you guys know in a later video um, foundation I am definitely enjoying this foundation even though this is like a first impression video I love how this looked on the skin. I like how it blended out. I like how it does not feel heavy on the skin since I did go in with a second layer. And the color is really like spot on to my skin tone, which I like. So I'm loving this way much more than the Black Radiance Foundation. That one was definitely a thumbs down. If you guys missed that video, like I said, I will have it down below in the description. But this is definitely a good one so far. I do still need to try out the one by Milani and that one's gonna be in my next video, a full face of drugstore products. But this is good so far. All right, so the Rimmel London Stay Matte Concealer. Um, my first impression on this was that it did not seem like a matte concealer. Like it feels very, I don't know, hydrating on the skin. It didn't try to, it didn't dry down to a matte finish. It wasn't full coverage. I can definitely tell that once I started blending it out, even though I did kind of leave the concealer on for a few minutes before I blended it out. But um, this is definitely, in my opinion, not a matte concealer. It does say it's a soft matte finish, but still it did not give me a matte finish once I blended out the concealer. It still kind of looked kind of, you know, luminous and radiant on my skin, but yeah. Definitely not a matte concealer in my opinion and definitely not a full coverage concealer in my opinion. So the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Setting Powder in the shade Banana. I feel like this is like a true mattifying setting powder. It doesn't say um, that it's a matte powder, but just by applying it on the skin, how it looked on the skin, I can tell that this is a, a like a true matte powder, but I still wanna see how it wears on my skin all day long, like a full eight hours. So this will definitely be used this month. Then I have the um, the new contour cream palette by CoverGirl um, Full Spectrum. I like this so far. I like the concealer in here. Now I haven't used this as a under eye concealer. I just used the concealers in here for my brows. Um, very thin, that's what I can say about this product. Like the actual um, product itself feels really, really, really thin, but I felt like it was perfect to sculpt out my brows because it wasn't too much. Like the color wasn't too bright. It wasn't too thick, but I don't know. I guess it's okay for like sculpting out my brows. I don't know how I would like to use it as like an under eye concealer because the consistency is super, super, super thin. 
um but so far i like it for my brows and then the blush i love love this color and i just think this will be a perfect blush to use during the spring or the summertime or even the fall and winter time yeah this will be really nice to use for the fall and winter because it's so dark you can definitely build up this blush but a little bit of this will definitely go a very long way they have a few more shades that are lighter than this but I wanted to try this one out because I haven't really been using blushes this dark lately. I've been using the ones that are kind of like a peachy mauve color, but this one is more of a dark plum and I think it's really, really pretty. Love how they're super creamy, super pigmented. Um, and I just really think they did a good job with this. And I don't know if they have any other type of blushes, but that one's, that one's good. And then we have the new matte lipsticks by Milani. I love how these feel on the lips. Very creamy, not too drying. They actually remind me of the Revlon lipsticks that I wear a lot. They're the, um, lustrous matte lipsticks by Revlon. These really remind me of that. It's just that these are actually a little bit more pigmented than the Revlon ones, but they feel very similar they have that creamy feel they they are pretty matte but they feel creamy on the lips if that makes sense but i definitely do like these they have several other colors but these are the only two that really stuck out to me and then these last two products i want to talk about the sponge and the brow pencil so first let's talk about the brow pencil um i said i would leave like the color down below in the description because it doesn't have the color on the actual brow pencil which is strange but very similar to the CoverGirl Brow Pencil, Anastasia Brow Wiz, um, Ulta Brow Pencil. Like, they are very, very, very similar. Super skinny. Went on the brows really easily. It's not too waxy. It's not too rough. It's not too hard. So it easily defined my brows. The color is a little bit on the gray side if you look at it really, really, really closely. But, I mean, it works. It's not one of those brow pencils that I'll just set to the side and never use anymore because of the shade. I feel like the shade is fine. It's just that if I look at it really closely, like right now in my mirror, I can see that they're a little bit more gray than what I usually use. But I mean, it's fine. Like the color, it doesn't look too thrown off or anything like that. But I do like this brow pencil. And then the sponge. This is a really good sponge for it to be from Walgreens. I think they did a good job with this. It's very soft, very bouncy. It does blend out my foundation really good, just like my Sonia Kashuk. It's just that the Sonia Kashuk like, is shaped better than this one um, and it's bigger than this one. I feel like it's bigger. Let me see. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger, but honestly, they kind of feel the same. Like They feel the same. That's strange, but I mean, I'm still Team Sonya, like always and forever gonna be Team Sonya. But yes, I think that is all that I have for today. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you guys remember, I am gonna be doing a giveaway on my channel for this whole entire year. So every month I'm gonna be giving away one box to one winner. So the way you guys will enter this giveaway is you have to thumbs up the videos, you have to leave a comment down below. And when I mean comment, I don't mean a comment saying like enter me in the giveaway or just a comment speaking about the giveaway. I mean a comment to interact like what products you've been loving what products you want to try out just a random comment like that not like nothing pertaining to the giveaway but yeah and also make sure you are subscribed so this will be international and i'm gonna go ahead and leave a clip right here of this month's box so every month is gonna be something different but this is what it's gonna be in this month's box but yes i think that is all that i have for today's video i really hope you guys enjoyed it if i shared anything today that you guys have already tried out anything you want to try out or if there's any products that you guys have been loving that you think i have not tried yet leave those down below in the comments you guys know I love to interact with you guys down there so let's go ahead and chit chat in the comments and I think that is all that I have so if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you thumbs it up make sure you are subscribed if you're not subscribed already and I'll see you guys in my next one bye